Hi. One of the problems uh, we encounter sometimes is lack of submergence. I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, go to my uh, webpage, uh, www.pumpfundamentals.com. Uh, click on Visual Glossary, and then on the submenu, go to Submergence. Submersion. Here we are. So what's happening is that the level in the tank might be low enough that a vortex forms and um, then of course air gets into the pump, gets entrained into the pump and we get a reduction of capacity of the pump. So what we would like to do is uh, eliminate this uh, problem somehow and uh, fix it. So um, here's a picture of, a, of a, that type of situation. So it doesn't matter if you're in a tank or in a, a stream like this. This is an axial flow pump. So the pump is actually going into the water here and the uh, propeller or vanes are probably located around here. This is the discharge and this is the drive shaft. All right? So you can see here the level of the uh, in the uh, water of the of the creek is a bit low, so we're getting this uh, vortex formation. So they'll be getting air into the pump and uh, reducing their capacity. So this has been analyzed by um, by people, and um, I have a little applet here. If you click here, we'll go to a page where I have my applets. And you actually do some uh, calculations uh, directly, but I, I want to show you what the uh, what the equation is in the uh, v in the help menu, which you can click on here. You'll see what uh, what the equations are that were developed by some uh, you know, some 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 researcher and uh, published by the Hydraulic Institute. These are different types of vortices that can form, uh, but the um, so the equation that develop the, sorry the equation that predicts uh, the formation of a vortex is quite simple. The height of the uh, of the uh, liquid in between that the surface and the uh, suction pipe. Uh, so the submergence level is S, and that'll be equal to the diameter of the suction pipe times this uh, constant here times the the uh, flow rate over the diameter of the suction pipe. So really, well, it's the diameter to the uh, 1 point, uh, 1 point, uh, five, I think. So usually, um, yeah, so um, if you plug your numbers in here, so we, um, we're having uh, flow and diameter. Uh, you'll get uh, the minimum submergence height. Okay. So uh, that's a pretty simple formula. Now, what are other other ways that we can mitigate um, the uh, formation of uh, of uh, vortexes? So let's go back to the page we were from and uh, go to um, go to. Uh, hang on, which, what is it? It is an uh, anti-vortex plate. So if we put a, um, a plate on the suction pipe, we're going to force the liquid to come around quite a bit more before it gets into the suction, and that will probably uh, stop that formation from happening because it just doesn't have enough, uh, the vortex just doesn't have enough energy to get around and into the uh, suction pipe. So these are different styles of suction plates. Here's a very, very, here's a simple one where you just have a plate here extending basically the diameter of the pipe to twice its diameter and this makes it difficult for the vortex to form. And here's another style here. So, um, that's one way of doing it, and of course, if you can raise the uh, level of uh, you know the the tank or or creek or whatever body of water you're in, then uh, that of course will solve the problem. But that's not always possible. So there you are. Beware of the tank height and um, do some calculations to be sure that you're always going to be above the submergence height. Bye bye. How many? Economists 
does it take to change a light bulb? None. The market will take care of it. How many psychiatrists does it take to change a light bulb? One. But it has to want to change. 